continuing our uh, series on the foolscap method as a way of uh, organizing our minds on a story that we're developing from scratch. The third point that we put on the fool's cap page is number two up here above, and I, what I write it out is Act 1, Act 2, Act 3. Now before we've talked about, uh, one of the questions that comes up is when are we going to actually tell the story on here? What is the actual story? And in my opinion, the story is actually the most overrated aspect of this thing. We don't even really need to tell the story. We certainly don't need to get into great detail. Now one of the concepts of any story that we're telling, whether we're doing a, uh, a TED talk or a movie or a novel, is break the story into three parts, beginning, middle, and end. Act one, act two, act three. So that's all we really need to help us evaluate our story. What's act one, what's act two, what's act three? It can come on actually only one line on this page. Just as an example, let's say we're Herman Melville and we're writing Moby Dick. Act one, Captain Ahab and his ship, the Pequod, set out after Moby Dick. Act two, Captain Ahab and the Pequod chase Moby Dick around the world. Act three, Captain Ahab and the Pequod catch Moby Dick and duel him to the death. That's really all we need. Act one, act two, act three. Because remember, what the point of the fool's cap method is, is for us to be able to evaluate a project that we have, to see it in its totality, and to be able to say to ourselves, is this worth doing? Do I really like this? Does this story work? So that's all we really need is Act 1, Act 2, Act 3 in the most simple, simple terms.